Welcome back viewers. Well, Frank is going to actually show us how to patina, which was uh, what we actually saw with that little African eagle in there in the head. But uh, so how do you go about this, mate? Okay, we first, I first of all put on a, a base patina grain. Yeah. Uh, I use potassium sulfide, you can use, you can mix, you can use caustic, you, there's lots of ways of making base patina. Yeah. So I've prepared a piece here for you, so I'll just wet it so it's nice and wet all over. Yeah. And then I spray it with a chemical, if it sprays, there we go. So you can see the colour changing, you see it changing? Oh yes, look at that. That looks good. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Okay, see it's a slightly different colour from what it was? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to go... So we go to that table there and okay. we'll do some hot patinas. Okay. So Frank, we uh, we heat this up, do we? Yep, this is a, the, a hot patina process. Yeah. It's, it's a control process. You can do it over and over again and you, you can get a similar result. You can never ever get the same result. You yeah. can get a similar result. So we're going to change it from its bronze to it's a little bit darker with the potassium sulphide. Now we're gonna, I'm going to put a, a black wash on it. Okay. And I'll put the black wash on it so it brings out the green. Because on top of the black wash, I'm going to put a green uh, cupric nitrate. Yeah. And then, then I'm going to put a couple of spots of ferric nitrate on it just for a contrast. Okay. And we'll see how it comes out. Sounds, looks, sounds you, great. Right? You never know the patinas. I'm keen. This is the first time so I've ever seen this. So I've got my two patina brushes. It's pretty there's fascinating. My green and there's my brown. Yeah. Okay. You've got a little I've airbrush got, there? I've got a little airbrush to put my black on. Yeah. And we heat it up. It's got to be a certain temperature. Okay. It won't work. About 110 degrees C. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's difficult to do little pieces, little little bits are always difficult because they take the heat differently. Okay. When you get on, on the big expanse, it becomes a lot easier. Right, right now this will be easier. It'll go nicely. See the dog is coming out? Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. That's a basic black I'll put, put, I'll put on. It's just wonderful. Now, we, now we're going to put some uh, copper nitrate on it. Yes. Now, temperature here is critical. Yeah. And you can hear, you can hear from the noise if it's right. It's, it's, got, a, it's, it's, really got, a, it's got a special sizzle, you know. Yeah. I, I, could, I could do this blindfolded and I'd, I'd know if it was right. But it's the temperature which is vital here. That's why I heat it all over while I'm doing the black keeper it's and heating to try and keep it, to try and keep the temperature right. So even the patterns there are just, uh, they're, uh, they look like, it looks like a coral reef. Wow, it's just beautiful. A lot of artists get the, the foundry to patina their work, you yeah. know, um, but I just like patinaing my own work. Okay, it's getting a little bit cold, yeah. it, and that gives you a different effect as well. Yeah, definitely. If you make yeah. it cold, you can get a lovely water effect. Okay. Watch, watch. You, you put the brush on and you let it run. Okay. Watch, watch. Look, see, see how you get the outside? It's too cold. I'll show you here. So we want to have water effect there. So you want to put your brush on a little bit, wet, little bit wetter and you leave it on longer. Oh, yes, yes. You see it? So it really comes up you quite, it? quite well, it dark comes, on the edges there. On the edges, exactly. Yeah. Okay, guys, so now we finished the green. There are lots of ways to put the green on. We could have made it thicker. Mm. We could have left the black areas bigger. Uh, we could have used a slightly different technique, colder, hotter, and you get different results. Different result. But this is just one way. Right. And let's put some, let's put some spots on them, shall we? Okay. Make them a guinea fowl. Sure, sure. Let's hit it. Excellent. Now we let it cool. So the next step is to polish it. Okay. And you'll see how it'll come, it'll be, it, it just comes beautiful. We finished the, the, the first waxing and now we're going to put a black on for the final polish and we'll give it a good shine and you'll see how it'll come up beautifully.
All righty, mate. Well, here we are in your, um, your gallery, which is connected to your studio. And what we've done is we've brought in this wax piece, and um, this is actually the bronze that you end up with after putting this guy together here. That was the wax you made just, yeah. a, just a little while ago? And this is the end result. And the foundry turns that, yeah. which is wax, yeah. dead, no life, yeah. into that beautiful piece of bronze. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And it was, like I was saying before, you've got, you've got some pretty major pieces on the, on the coast as well, haven't you? Yeah, we're lucky enough to have a couple of pieces. We've yeah. got um, a large size piece at Corumban. That's that, uh, is that, that's the surfer with the really big round rings That's underneath. That, that's in the surfing club. Yeah. And then there's uh, uh, one on the beach. Which is my daughter, she sat for me. Okay. So that's life size. And there's another musician on the beach just up the road. And then at the main beach is another one. Oh, it's just wonderful. And I have seen your stuff up there. Yeah. It's, it's just great, really. Yeah. So it's fantastic. Yeah. So, and you obviously have clients come in here and they can actually view what you were doing. Um, and uh, sort of come in, buy. Order commissions. They're welcome. Anything, Any, anybody's welcome to come in here. Yeah. That's yeah. just great. Yeah, but I like sharing my work with anybody. I'd really like to thank you for having us here today. What a uh, pleasure. It's been great, mate. And we've what just, a pleasure. I think everybody's learned so much. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you bud. Yep. We've learned so much about being with this amazing master sculptor. He's a, he's he's a good man. <laughs> he's a good man. <laughs> There's no other way to put it, but uh, uh, it's been a great day. Really. Thank you very you. much. Absolutely. And if, if you guys out there once again want to see more of uh, Frank's work, you can come into the website um, colourinyourlife.com.au and see all of his sculptures. Um, we're hopefully going to be doing some more work with Frank as we go along as well. And uh, until next time, see you later. Well, what a sensational day, viewers, and what an amazingly talented man in a, just an incredible place. It really is. What a great studio. Uh, now remember, if you wanted to see more of uh, these incredibly talented people and you want to see more of Frank's bronzes as well, you can come to www.colourinyourlife.com.au and until we see each other again, remember, make sure you put some colour in your life. See you next time.